there are some indisputable astrological facts that help draw a picture of the future royal baby. He or she will be one of the first among a new generation of Taurians born with Uranus, the planet of unexpected changes, in their sign. Uranus creates interesting dynamic tension. Taurians usually like to dig their heels in and prefer dealing with what they know. Yet, with the symbol of rebellion so prominent in their chart, this child will be free-spirited, with an independent soul and a rebellious heart. A rare alignment in early May between Mars, Jupiter and Neptune brings an aura of excitement and adds a zest for adventure. A can-do attitude and an optimistic outlook will oversee this child's future. I'm having an April baby. Megan lets slip to well-wishers during walkabout she is now six months pregnant, but doesn't know if it's a boy or a girl because she wants it to be a surprise. The Duchess of Sussex let slip yesterday that she is six months pregnant and expecting her first child in late April or early May. On a visit to Birkenhead, she and her husband Prince Harry could not hide their excitement as they revealed the baby would arrive weeks before their first wedding anniversary. Meghan, 37, also told a local mother-to-be that they did not know whether they would be having a boy or a girl, preferring to keep the sex of their baby a surprise. But she said her pregnancy, which was announced last autumn, had flown by and that the Queen's grandson would make a fantastic father. Meghan looked radiant in a 107 pounds purple dress from Babbitton by Aridzia under a red 1,085 pounds centaur coat and sassy matching heels. She carried a 1,695 pounds Gabriella Hurst leather bowling bag and had her hair in a relaxed messy bun. The couple were on the wheel at the invitation of local MP Frank Field to learn about some good news stories in the region. And while there was plenty for the pair to see, Baby chatter was clearly the biggest topic of the day. Until now Kensington Palace has revealed only that the couple's bundle of joy is due in the spring. But during a 45-minute walkabout at Birkenhead's Hamilton Square, Meghan was more specific with well-wishers. After meeting her, Kim Thompson, a resident of the area, said, she said she is six months pregnant and due at the end of April, beginning of May. The couple spoke to others in the crowd then visited projects in the area including the Number 7 Café and Supermarket for those on low incomes. There, Meghan presented expectant Mother Angel Midgley with a Moses basket, telling her she and Harry had chosen not to find out the sex of their baby. We are keeping it a surprise, she said. Whichever way, we'll be thrilled with the outcome. The couple also visited tomorrow's women, which helps disadvantaged women. Meghan delivered an impromptu speech saying, we all know how important it is for me, women supporting each other. With Harry listening, she added, it is also key that men are there supporting behind the scenes.